Welcome to uh, our second, because we just had the first one an hour ago, our second coronavirus Christmas concert. <laughs> and uh, we hope you enjoy everything this evening. Uh, an hour ago, we had our fifth grade beginning band and our first and fifth graders performed. And we had a really good, good time with them. And I'm sure you're, you're going to enjoy the performance this evening of our second, third, and fourth grade as they perform The Reluctant Innkeeper. Let's, let's welcome our cast as they come in tonight. Keep the applause going, guys. Come on. Presiding in Bethlehem Court. And who are you? I'm here to prosecute this case. My business card is on your desk. Samantha Shepard, attorney at law and part time Shepard. Okay, whatever. I see the jury is in place. Yes, yes Your Honor. I'm passing out. <gasps> I'm passing out a scroll for Sam to read so we can get this case officially started. Uh. The people versus the reluctant innkeeper. The people call their first witness to stand he a uh, donkey. <coughs> State your name and occupation. I'm he a donkey. I'm a donkey and part-time tour guide. Proceed. Well, it happened this way. Joseph and Mary were traveling to Bethlehem since Caesar Augustus had ordered a tax, and everyone had to be registered for the cent. Yes, tell us everything. I was carrying Mary and didn't think he would ever find a place to stay since all the rooms were filled. At last we came to a small inn in Bethlehem. And then? I can still hear those two words ringing in my ears. The innkeeper said, What was words? <laughs>
wanted to say that. You have your turn, but right now I'm dying. I'm dying to hear more of this story. The next witness, Your Honor, is Michaela Mutter. State your name and occupation. I'm Michaela Mutter, full-time sheep and part-time rug cleaner. Rug cleaner? I completely understand how to keep wool spotless. Okay, tell us about the events on the night of December 24th. I was with all my friends being washed over by some shepherds, and all of a sudden the sky was filled with a bright light. We weren't sure what it was at first. She's guilty, guilty of telling a miraculous and wonderful story. So let's recap. Mary and Joseph riding a donkey into Bethlehem, no room in the inn, shepherds and sheep in a field, and then the angels tell the glorious birth of the Messiah. Where was he born? Your Honor, that's the most important part of this case. I call the next witness the reluctant innkeeper. Say your name and occupation. I am Benjamin Holiday, innkeeper and used camel salesman. Seems like everyone in this town has a part-time job. Gotta work hard to pay those taxes. Proceed. Your Honor, members of the jury, please hear my side of the story. Yes, Bethlehem was very busy that night, mm -hmm. and I really wish I could have found room in my inn for the young couple. We don't need excuses. Sir, just the facts. Did you know Mary was going to have a baby? Joseph told me, but I didn't believe him at first until I saw her. She was sitting on the donkey and looked very tired. And then? I couldn't throw someone else out of their room for the night, so instead I let Mary and Joseph stay in my stable. It was warm and I had just put down some new hay. But you, you were reluctant, reluctant to let them stay in your inn, and that, sir, is in violation of Bethlehem Code number 982. That's true. I was reluctant, but I did find them a place to stay, and I learned that God can turn a stable into a cathedral.
that's terrible. <gasps> terrible that song can't last longer. It was beautiful and I love the message. <sighs> yes, Your Honor. This fable for Mary and Joseph might have not seemed perfect, but God used it to bring his son into the world in the humblest of ways. God can make miracles out of simple things. He can turn bad to good. I think I'm getting it. And when God sent his son into the dark world, he really changed things around. That's right, Your Honor. Because of what happened that night in Bethlehem, the world will never be the same. Your Honor, the prosecution rests. Really? Yes, my mommy says it's time for me to take my nap. But the jury must vote first. Given the fact that the innkeeper did find a place for Mary and Joseph to stay the night, even though he was reluctant at first, what say you? Is the innkeeper guilty or not guilty of violating Bethlehem Code number 982? No! Yeah! Thank you, jury, and your honor. Now I'm going to start a whole chain of events where my name's not Benjamin Holiday. I'm having a stroke. <gasps> a stroke of genius. Oh. You can name the hotel chain Holiday Inn. I'd rather name it after my wife. What's her name? Ramada. <laughs>
At this time, we want to recognize our main cast playing the part of Michaela Mutton, Miss Gianna Barinka. I, I, I practiced it. Barinka. <laughs> Hee Haw a Donkey by Raylan Inman. <laughs> Samantha Shepherd by Ella Wishron. <laughs> Judge Judy Justice by Emerson George. And that man with all the hotels, Benjamin Holiday by Nolan F. Tink. Stand up, guys, stand up. All of you stand up. And everyone, let's give all of our cast one more hand tonight. Okay, one more time. Thank you, guys, everybody. Let's give them a round of applause. I just wanted to say thank you for coming tonight. Thank you to all of those on the live stream. I hope you enjoyed our performance tonight. I want to give a few thank yous. Let's say uh, Slayton and Liam, our high school students helping out tonight. Let's give them a round of applause. I also want to thank our teachers for all their time and effort, Mrs. Santana, Mrs. Berner, and Mrs. Cook. Let's give them a round of applause. And from the tape and the bleachers on the floor, the music, the motions, everything in between, let's give Mr. Heinemann a round of applause. <laughs> we hope you all have a safe evening. If you want to go ahead, Mr. Heinemann's going to give some directions before we go, and I hope you all have a good Advent and Christmas season. We are going to send the students back to the class.